So you're telling me that uh, angels and serpents actually dance? Is that true? Uh, in your life? In my head, yeah. In your head, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> is it is it a dance or is it a battle? Uh, sometimes it is a dance. I mean, when it's a dance, it's sometimes it's sweet and. Yeah, you know, when it's a battle, it's more of a warrior type of dance, I would say. But I mean, it's just it comes down to decisions and choices, yeah. and you know, some the obvious. You know, you you see it and you think good, evil, you know, heaven or hell. But it's just you know, in a dance, uh, only one can lead, and it's just uh, you know, it depends on what choices you're gonna make and, and what you're gonna follow. You know, what are the things that are that are leading your life? You know, the priorities in your life, the the goals that you've set in your life. And so, and then plus it sounds pretty rock and roll. <laughs> well, it has to sound rock and roll to yeah. be rock and roll. It can just be rock and roll. <laughs> Although, you know, I just interviewed, you remember Billy Squire? Oh, yeah, 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 I yeah. just interviewed. You know what he does just for the love of it? Gardens. Oh, I love, dude, when I'm at home. Serious? Same thing, bro. Really? I love planting. Yeah, all the seasonal flowers and, and, and stuff in my yard. I love it. Really? It's peaceful. See, that doesn't sound very rock and roll. Not but yet. it is. I mean, it's life, though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't, you know what? I don't really try to, to be rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, to be in a, a group with my friends and say the things that we wanted to say and believe yeah. the things that we did and, 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 and put into music. And, you know, I guess uh, when people start to like your music, yeah. Uh, and people start to cheer for you, then all of a sudden you're, you're a rock star, you know? Well, my sense is you're a fairly spiritual man, and mm. do you even think of gardening as kind of a spiritual thing when you're out there digging in the dirt? And oh, yeah. yeah. I, I love being at one with the, the earth and, and getting dirty. I mean, even now, it's so hot in San Diego. Uh, when I get home, you know, uh, easy my kids will start swimming, and, and I like going down to Home Depot and getting all the, like I said, seasonal flowers and getting mm. dirty i don't even wear shoes i just get in there, get in there. and uh you know I, I used to do a lot of construction too oh okay you know back in the day and that was always the best part it was like you'd you know uh working barefoot no 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know di digging the holes and and, uh, and all the the hard work wasn't uh the best part but it was always at the end of the job when you right. got to do all the touch-ups and that's when you added the trees and all the you know the flowers and stuff and so that's when uh, you kind of put all the the frosting on the cake well, I think there's something about getting a good sweat on too. You know oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's I mean, when you come home and you gotta leave your stuff out outside yeah. because it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, because it's just drenched yeah. and it stinks. It's and a good reason to be out in the sun too and catch some sun. Yeah, right on, <laughs> man. So that takes me straight to shine with me. Yeah, yeah. How about that sunshine? That's right. But it, but it is. I mean, light is a huge thing. I mean, right, whether right. it's the sun that actually shines on us when we're yeah, gardening yeah. or the light that's yeah. i think in us the, right the, the the light that yeah it shines through us you know uh again it comes down to those the choices that that you make um we heard this cool uh saying that it was talking about how um you know everybody's into the diamond and the bling factor and you know diamonds are the you know how beautiful they are and you know how much they're worth and but without light a diamond is worthless because it doesn't if, if you hold a, di a diamond in the in the darkness it doesn't shine it's right. just you know it would probably just been a another stone out there a gem or whatever it is but then when that right. light shines through it all of a sudden it has that that beauty and that's kind of you know the the goodness that we're trying to you know let radiate radiate through ourselves and hopefully onto the people that we are surrounded by do you think when the light doesn't shine through you, it's because you're all of a sudden an opaque object, rather <laughs> than you know the light is is just not in the right spot at the right time? You know what I mean? You know, I, I believe that the light is always in the right spot. It's just the way you're facing. <laughs> it's, it's, how you, it's where where you're turned. You know, and 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 so even, we're just satellite dishes. Yeah, how, how you wanna you know, but you get to move yourself. You know, you, right? It it, it's de it depends the uh, direction that you're facing, and you know sometimes. You know, sometimes you're in that place where, you know, it's it's easier to shine than most days. You know, and some days you just got to be in that solitary place for a while. Well, the next song, Condescending, is, I, I get, I don't I don't know if you write angry songs, mm -hmm. but I, I, I think it's, I think it's about people who, you can't tell them which way to face. Yeah, you know what, or, or, or people that are always telling you which way to face. Oh, right. <laughs> and, and, or, or, or if, if you're not facing this way, then 
then you know yeah. you're wrong and it's just but you know we've it, it, i wouldn't say it's an angry song but it, you know, we, we we tend to have a lot of those feelings just just for years because you know you can't please everyone and and you know the, the sad thing is that we do spend a lot of time trying to and, and at the end of the day you know you're, you're gonna make someone unhappy or let somebody down and you know what are you gonna do so so it, has that been the most frustrating thing about you and pod if those are one and the same yeah. i don't mean to put them together yes. but has it been the most frustrating thing because people have tried to um label you guys and yeah and when you don't follow exactly the way they think they're the label that they've labeled you, right right and all of a sudden you are well at the very worst gonna burn in hell for it, it yeah know? yeah no it, true I, I i mean i could sit here all all day long and say oh that doesn't affect me or you know I, I just i gotta walk my own path and what you say doesn't matter but that's not altogether the truth i mean for years and years and years it's just like you said we get labeled one thing and then but not only that you know we're we're, we're just we strive to be good people in general you know yeah. and 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 we don't want to leave bad impressions on people and we we hope that you know um that our lives would make the same impact on people that our music has. And so, again, you know, we're just being human and we're doing our everyday thing. But, you know, sometimes, like I said, you just don't meet the criteria of a lot of, you know, I don't know, yeah. a lot of people. And so you tend to tend to analyze things too much and, yeah, and it gets you down sometimes. I think for me, a lot of times, uh, feeling like I haven't pleased every, you know, everybody that has these expectations of me has you know made me bitter in a lot of ways and then and then it it kind of uh gets in the way of like who i'm supposed to be and 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 the things that i believe in you know so i just kind of try to push that aside and you know i have to live my life and i hope that people will do the same live theirs do you think that's just the overall evil force devil whatever is right. out there that is like okay i'm gonna stick these people in front of Sonny, and that's just gonna stop him from you know Letting the light shine through you, as yeah. you know, as you wrote in, in in shine shine through. Sorry, dude. shine with me. Shine with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I don't. I don't really. Th I, h I hardly think about whatever is evil out there because I don't uh -huh. think a lot about heaven and hell and all that right. stuff. But, but once in a while, I kind of go, okay, you know what? Maybe the world is against me. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't ever want to blame it on the world. No, no, no. You know of course, I mean? of course. I, I I I tend to believe in um you know yeah in in, in spiritual things. So I always. I believe if you're just going to be kind of like everybody else and just do your thing and not, not care about the rest of the world or the people in it that, you know, you might not have that much opposition. But then there's I know that there's those that, you know, they dedicate their life to to causes of yeah. good and causes of love and causes of, uh, you know, helping people and sharing with people. And, you know, they go through, quote unquote, hell. They go through a life of that's just ups and downs all the time. And it's like, why do so many bad things happen to these people that are that are just trying to do trying to do right trying to do good you know it's kind of confusing sometimes because it can't rain every day it's yeah like, <laughs> i'm sorry just segue like that i can't help it it's yeah, even the next yeah. song on the record you know but but i i guess it's hard for people you know that you're just talking about it's hard it's hard to realize that you know what yeah the clouds are gonna you know part yeah, someday yeah, yeah. and in that light that we want to shine through is yeah. gonna shine down again you know yeah, man. So, is there people in your life that feel like the world's got it got it for them every every step of the way? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you tend There's, to. Yeah. You I guess what inspired you to even think about that kind of a subject matter? It, it was a little bit. Marcus actually came up with with the title, but I mean, even the title kind of kind of before the lyrics were even written, it kind of speaks for itself. You know, it's yeah. just you're gonna everybody, you know, goes through ups and downs. They have their tough times, and and sometimes you never feel like you're gonna get out of that hole, but. You know, obviously we're a band and we're a people of of hope. So we, you know, not not even to say that rain is a bad thing, but right, right. you know, but we're just, we're just talking about the gloomy sense, the gloomy yeah. sense of it. And and you know, you you are waiting for that sun to shine through, and it will. You know, it might not be this moment, it might not be tomorrow. You know, maybe it needs to rain uh, in your life for a while, and then and then that way you appreciate when it does shine because it feels like the end of the world. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is such a everything feels like it's stupid sometimes yeah. you know and, and and when things I, I guess you know we let things get out of balance don't we yeah is, is i mean is balance always attainable I don't, I don't even yeah know. who knows yeah. that's just something i guess we're, we're always trying to do yeah. trying to keep perspective on that but as far as the end of the world goes yeah it's just you know you turn on the news and there's never anything happy these days i don't know if news would sell if 
it wasn't reporting something crazy around the world. But it gets frustrating, you know, especially here we are talking about trying to be, you know, positive forces and in a light, and and but this everything around you is just so dim, you know, and that's what forces you to, you know. Uh, kind of reevaluate everything that you know to be true and everything that you believe in that you hold true and stick to it. How do you keep? How do you keep your kids from not yeah. seeing the light is dim? Because you know, I mean, whether even if they don't see the news, their yeah. friends might talk about it. Or yeah. you know, I mean, and certainly we have to let them in to know oh, what's yeah, going on yeah, in the yeah. world. So we aren't. I don't. I don't want to use the word uninformed, but so we're not. Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. We, is, but you I, know, yeah, I, mean, I know what you're saying. I, you know, I, I try to allow my kids to be as young and as innocent as they possibly can and until it's necessary for them to be right. adults. You know, right now it's, it's you know, I have an 8-year-old, 4-year-old, and a 1-year-old. And, you know, my 8-year-old, she, she goes to school and, yeah, she's, she has friends. But even still, even her world right now is just is still, it's it's things like disney it's it's still you know little pop music that that that's coming out of that and and in her school and her friends and you know and and i, and I hope that when she has those questions that i can give her the, the right answers but right now yeah it's my it's my job to raise them in 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 the ways that i believe are right and to watch over them and protect them you know and it, it is crazy I, I i get i'm not home right now and and you know my wife she actually went away for the weekend so this is the first two days that none of us are there and and so i'm been freaking out since she left you know she went to a a woman's retreat and and you know yeah i I, i'm i'm i mean they're with my grand you know grandparents but i still freak out you know i've never left none of us you know if if i'm if i'm gone you know my wife is and if my wife maybe once if she's ever been gone (laughs) i think i've had the kids you know once overnight by myself and it's like yeah it's a crazy place man I remember the first time my wife and I just went out for dinner for the first time and had a, right. uh, and a you know, I think it was like a grandma or a yeah. grandpa or something like that watching. <laughs> we didn't do anything except talk about <laughs> yeah, the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know? wonder what they're doing right now. Man. We should call them and check on <laughs> yeah, them. It's exactly. true, man. It's true. It's crazy being they a parent. Be, they become your, your, your world, man. Hey, I'm looking at the visuals through the record. Mm. Are there four choices or are there just a bunch of choices? Is is is, is, is what's, what's draining under here? you know metaphorically or um i mean if you, i mean were you thinking about that because it's, it's this fairly was a, stunning i think yeah you know? this was a concept that you know we had the whole choices idea and it doesn't really have to do with the four rooms i think it's just yeah you know that room can have a million doors yeah right. oh yeah right, right, <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, you can't sure. put, fit a million doors on, on paper but yeah there's just because i'd be scared to open the door that has that draining out yeah under, yeah me you? too even I, though it might be the good door yeah but it's not the good door. <laughs> That's why she, yeah, she's she's trying to peek in the in the other room. It's just so many just so many crazy stuff, man. Yeah, man. Again, it just comes down to choices, bro. Yeah, man. You know, hey. you can walk through so many doors of life and, and you never know. It might seem right at the time. Hey, so do you think much about the environment? You know, cuz you talk about gardening and stuff, do you? Yeah. I mean, do you guys recycle at home? You're trying to teach your kids oh, yeah, that kind of always. stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I've been recycling for such a long time. I don't even think in where I live now it's mandatory. I think when I first got my own place, I think it was like uh, it was mandatory, and then I just got so used to it. Mm. And then you start to realize, dude, it's just simple, you know. I mean, everything from cardboard to magazines, and mm. I, I mean, it's just, it's just the little things. And even even uh, I, yeah, it's like I feel bad if I even now if I say we get waters or sodas here on the on yep. the bus or something. we'll drink them i'll just put them in a separate little spot i know, you know hopefully that they might take and say hey well they piled it here for some reason you know maybe they'll recycle but you get to these parts of the the country and a lot of people just they just burn everything oh i get i get crap from you know people that are with me it's like yeah i'm just gonna throw this i'm carrying around an empty water bottle for like an hour at a yeah, party yeah. or something or whatever i don't even yeah. have the i now i got the the big glass uh oh do and you? i just oh. refill them all oh see dude <laughs> another step beyond me but i think we got to start thinking about that no, stuff no. i mean I, I don't all our resources because you know there's just still too many people out there and especially being on tour it's got to be tough to yeah to you know because i mean it's such a such a disposable world out there you know yeah. what i mean i don't even Oh yeah. In fact, I just read something in Time Magazine. I was, I'm really intrigued by it because the, the older I get, I, I feel like I'm becoming more of a minimalist. You know, it's just like <laughs> yeah. but there's a there's it's a hundred thing challenge that somebody has out there at some website somewhere, and I start thinking, you know, how many pair of pants do I need? Right, right. How many hats do I need? How many shoes do I need? Because 
you know, I, I think about my dad when I was growing up, and he was a factory worker. He had two pair of shoes. Yeah. He had shoes he wore to work and shoes he wore to church. Yeah. And the shoes he wore to work, he'd come out and play, you know, catch you with me it's in the yard true, or something. Man. And I think he made an old, old pair of tennis shoes that he never wore. <laughs> but he had three pair of shoes basically for his whole life. Yeah. You know, no, my closet true. has more than three pair of tennis yeah, shoes. Yeah, I got yeah, indoor too. basketball <laughs> shoes. I got outdoor <laughs> yeah, basketball yeah, yeah. shoes. I Running. got shoes that I like to bike with. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> Run with. You know, and it's just, I don't know if it's right, but, you know, that's the that's the culture that I was brought up with because I got to get more and I got to have the latest Nikes and the latest yeah, Adidas. Yeah. And, you know, that's, and that's always a tough one because, I mean, you know, you, you got to be honest and say it, it's always a pleasure to go out and, you know, especially if you, you know, work hard and you have the money to go, you know, treat yeah. yourself to a nice pair of shoes or something. That's always pleasurable. But you're right, though. I, I think for me, a lot of stuff, I really don't even buy a lot of stuff. I'm, I've am been so blessed to just get a lot of free stuff, you know. Yeah. But but um, I'm so close to um, the, the, the border mm-hmm. that, you know, we, we have all these wear and tear clothes. It's like. You know, you sweat in them a few times. It's like, man, you go home and wash them, and I just put them in a bag. And we have, um, my wife calls uh, one of the local spots, and then they come and just get all from the kids' toys to all our clothes. Because, you know, I'm not going to throw it away. I know that they'll take them down to Mexico, and, and, and people, right. they use them. They're, they're not as, as fortunate as we are. Can I go back over a few older songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't mind? Uh, going in Blind. Um, going in Blind came about... Um, we were actually sitting in the studio with, with Travis and uh, his um, his neighbor had walked in and just kind of, you know, I think they brought some cookies or something like that. It was a home studio and and um, real nice people and, and then they kind of left and then he went on to tell us the whole story of um, how, you know, long story short, that their son had, was... Um, I, I, the, Long story short, is just their son got murdered in, when he was like five, and and these were like you know firm believers like in God and and you know the the American dream, and they're living their life, and and we just got into this whole huge discussion about you know here we are, we we say that we trust in in in, in God and we believe that everything works for for good and that there's always a you know a purpose and a reason for all the bad things that happen to you, but we were sitting there as men and as husbands and and fathers and just really challenged to to yeah. if if we can handle that or what we do and so i mean there's just so so many different things came up you know that what would happen and uh that was kind of one of those things it's like these people still you know, they still live in their lives um and they still choose to be to be faithful mm. but it, yet at the same time it's you know it, it's almost like they're not they don't that life that they knew is, is gone it's gone there's more of just they're just I wouldn't want to say in existence, but it's kind of like, yeah. what, what more do you do? You're always living in that shadow of this, this, this evil that has happened in your life. And so, again, it's mm-hmm. like that thing that we do. It's that trust and that faith that we have. Everything's going to be all right. But sometimes, yeah, you feel like you are. You're going in blind. And you're hoping that, you know, the situation's going to work out. And that at the end of the day, you know, it's all going to pay off, you know. Uh, and, you know, I mean, certainly I wouldn't think it was that kind of a thing that inspired School of Hard Knocks, but it is sort of that. You just get beat <laughs> around all the time, Yeah, isn't it? I mean, you know? Yeah, it's, it's School of Hard Knocks is a... Uh, it's funny because that, that, that title's been coming up, came up so many times just on this quick little run that we've had. You know, everybody's like, I know that song, and you guys should play that. Right. School of Hard Knocks is just, just one of them, them street terms, you know. It's, you know, there's different types of educations in this world, you know. So we, we tend to, to think that we come from the school of hard knocks. <laughs> I just wonder if a, a lot of us think that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I, part of the way I, I feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't really realize what struggle is. You know, right, what it's right. really like to, oh, yeah. to be in the absolute yeah. downturn of life and, 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 and fight your way through it. But we all want to think we came from it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. By no means. Uh, I mean, when... You know, you could always sit in your situation and think that you've had it rougher than the next man. But then when you look, uh, you know, just the world in general, you know, even the roughest of times here in the States are nothing compared to a lot of countries that that you don't have rights and you don't have freedoms, you know, and you don't have money and you don't have places to live, you know. But you're right. We Everybody tends to, to kind of follow that pattern of, yeah. of, of I haven't had it uh, as good as you have, you know. But you know what? Again, yeah. it's it's you and your situation, and, and what choice, and right? what you make out of it. That's right, man. <laughs>